Woke up to frost, it's like 25 degrees. Doing the final brake adjustment, double checking wheel torque. Uh, a couple of little things we gotta get knocked out this morning and then uh, get time to pack up and hit the road. It's gonna start raining here at two. We'll start raining at Indy at 11. So we're definitely gonna hit rain on the way. So we're gonna try to get there. Why do we have daylight? The headlights on this thing work. But it's more so other people see you more than you seeing the road. So I'm going to take Sage's truck over there and follow him all the way back. And then Dad is going to head off to the next stop. And then I believe I'm meeting them in Nashville. I've got a service call. I have to run at home in between. Hopefully, nice uneventful day. Not many videos. Nice short one here, I hope. And this thing makes it home no problem. It should. Dad's bus is all packed up. He's ready to go. And then Sage should be ready any second here. And then I'm going to be driving his truck back to Indy following him. off here uh, battery bay door decided it wanted to fly open on us parking brakes good shot the hub and brake temps while we pulled off we're checking those every time since this flew open we threw a bungee cord on it so that should keep that door shut and I think we're gonna hit the road again Making some pretty good time, other than having to stop back there to fix the bay door. So far, it's been pretty good. Uh, I just talked to mom and dad. They're heading straight west while we're heading north right now. They've already hit rain. So we're going to keep trying to go here, get as far as we can without stopping before the rain hits. Um, we're definitely gonna, should make it through Columbus, no problem. After Columbus, I'm going to want to stop, fuel the bus up because we still don't know which of the two tanks it's pulling from. Uh, I do need to do a little bit of a brake adjustment on the left front, get all that stuff done outside of Columbus, then from there, Dayton shouldn't be bad at all, it should be a straight shot to Indianapolis, no problem. Well, this right here is going to be the worst part of the trip as far as uh, driving the bus. This construction here gets a little bit tight. And we're through it. Well, we stopped off for fuel, and while we were here, took a restroom break and grabbed some lunch. And while we were in there, the rain came. But everything's looking good so far. Uh, I think we've got about two and a half hours left until we get there. So, you're ready to hop back on the road and get some more miles in. Just pulled off again. We're in uh, Brookville, Ohio. We had between half and two thirds, it was up to about here, on the radiator, blocked off with cardboard this morning. It was in the low 20s when we started, and it's about 40 degrees now, but the temperature started coming up some. We 
we were running the mid to upper 180s and that was a little bit high for my liking so we went ahead and pulled the uh, cardboard out temperature has already come down since I got that out sitting here idling it's down in the 160s so we're gonna run that down the road and see if that keeps it a little closer I mean 180 is not bad but that was at like 55 miles an hour we were down to so hopefully with that cardboard out of there it'll bring that temp down a little bit well we just got stuck in reverse so the shift rod this linkage here popped off and we couldn't get the trans back out of reverse it wasn't doing anything so got it back in there somewhat but I'm worried that it's gonna do it again so we'll see what we can do to get it fixed up here and get it back on the road I'm worried that this thing pulled out of there so I'm worried that the threads are damaged but we'll see what we can do get it to do right now it is hooked back up and I am able to shift from up front we found all the gears but that's got more slop in it than I want to see still well, this is where it's gonna have to sit for the night. So we're about an hour and a half from Chris's shop. So about an hour to 45 minutes, something like that from my house. And that shift linkage, the clevis is completely stripped out. You pull the rod and it pulls the linkage straight out. Um, I've already got a line on another clevis to go on the end of it if the threads aren't messed up. If the threads are messed up, I have another rod we can get. I just don't have any way to fix it with us right now with the tools that we have. Um, there's not enough daylight left to really even have somebody bring my truck out here so we can fix it. So we're going to leave it here tonight. It's in the 30s and raining. I'm not a fan of it. It's pretty cold. I'm already soaked from getting it fixed. Right now, I literally have it zip tied together enough to get us into this parking lot. I got it here. So tomorrow, bring drill bits back. We're going to cross drill that clevis and the shaft that it sits on. We'll pin through it so that it can't come off. And then hopefully tomorrow we have a short little uh, hour or so drive and we will be uh, where we need to go with it. It did great today. Uh, we had no problems with any of the stuff we worked on. You know, the clevis lifting, li yeah, the clevis are ripping out of the ship linkage. Sorry, it, it's been a long day. Yeah, I mean, we just, we never planned on that, but we can fix it. It just, it won't be fixed tonight. One day delayed, not the biggest deal. We're back out here in the morning, get it fixed right up and get it back on the road.